Did you know that concrete is supposed to last about four hours in a standard fire? What does that really mean? I'm gonna tell you about that and a whole lot more today. My name is Tyler Lay, and this video is about concrete, fire, and unicorns. So what is a fire rating? It's the length of time in a standard fire that a member is able to perform before the first critical point of behavior is reached. We're gonna start out with the first part of this the standard fire. What's that all about? Well, ASTM E119 has you build a special room. And in that room, you have fire on one side. And then you build some kind of structural system. And on the opposite side, they measure stresses and strains and temperatures of what happens. And in that room, they subject that system to this temperature. On the X axis, I'm showing time. And on the Y axis, I'm showing temperature. And over the first five minutes, the temperature goes up to about 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And over the next hour, it goes up to about 1,700. And over the next eight hours, it goes up to 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I want to get point something out here. We have kind of a fake room. We have a fake fire. And we have this fake temperature profile that we're sending the concrete through. This is all kind of mythical just like a mythical creature like a unicorn. It's all kind of made up. But the standard fire is based on something. It's based on if I was to set 10 pounds of paper per square foot on fire, that would be a one hour fire rating. That's about 500 sheets of paper. That's about several reams of paper. And this was developed back when we had paper all over our offices, when paper was everywhere. But offices of today, look extremely different. We now have monitors everywhere and hard drives and computers everywhere. We don't have paper, but we still use this definition of a standard fire. And that's what we've used for a long, long time. And that's why this whole process is all made up. It's all like a big unicorn in a real fire. There's all kinds of variables that affect the temperature. Like what's burning? Is it jet fuel? or is it a bunch of computer parts? How widespread is the fire? Is it all in one area or is it kind of distributed? What's the ventilation like? Because as you add more oxygen to the fire, you're gonna get more burning. What's the geometry of the room and how moist is the air? All of these things affect the temperatures and the damage in a real fire. And that may not be the same is what these standard fires are all about. Another part of the definition is, what is the critical point of behavior? Well, that means different things to different structural systems. If I'm talking about a wall or a slab, what they're trying to do is insulate it so that that part of the building may be on fire, but it may allow other parts of the building to stay cool or for people to get out of it. So what they want is the temperature on the other side of the member to be less than 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And if it takes two hours to get there, then that's a two hour fire rating. If it takes four hours, that's a four hour fire rating. For members like columns, they're a little bit different. You'll actually have fire all around it. And it says, how many hours does it take for it to hold the load in that standard fire temperature? And as soon as the column starts to fail, that's when it's game over. So we can compare different materials. We can compare like concrete's typically about a four hour fire rating. Steel is usually around two hours and wood is usually less than two hours, sometimes as low as one. Again, it's comparative. So we can compare these different materials to one another. And this is a big deal because people don't wanna lose their important structures. They want long fire ratings so that more people can get out to save lives, but also so you can get firefighters in to stop the building from burning down. And this is one reason why people build their like historic theaters and their very, very tall buildings out of concrete because it's got a longer fire rating. And that's one reason why you won't oftentimes see a lot of very, very old wood structure because commonly a fire one time or another breaks out in it and then it doesn't last very long and then it collapses. But things don't have to be tested. ASTM E119 has lots of useful tables and charts in it as well. Here's one of them. This shows on the x-axis the actual load on a structure versus the total capacity, and on the y-axis the cover. And I'm showing two points here. If you come in with about this load ratio and this cover, that's about a three-hour fire rating for that structure. 
Here's another one where I come in with the width of my beam, and this is for a one hour fire, and I go up until I hit a cover, and that will tell me the temperature at that depth inside the concrete. Now that's an estimate for a typical one hour fire. Now in summary, a standard fire is not likely representative of any real fire, but it is a standard. And it's truly a way to compare different materials and get a feel for how long one lasts compared to another. Also, this provides many useful design guides that can help you, but be very careful before you apply them because they don't mean anything in any real fire. They only mean something for the standard fire. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Take care, everybody. Bye.